Hello, my name is Joshua Kylan. Um, it's been well over a month since I did this. Um, well, on April 23rd, which was a Sunday, I helped uh, get the number 28 steam locomotive ready for a shakedown run. Basically, what a shakedown run is, is um, basically... They do a run with no passengers. Um, this time they used a one of their locomotives, diesel locomotives, and they used it in a, such a way where they used it in dynamic braking mode. Where basically you're working against the engine and making a load on the locomotive that you're trying to trying that you're doing the shakedown on. In this case, it's the 28 steam locomotive. Well, yeah, it's been over a month. I helped change out the front, uh, brake, like the front valve for the brake system. Uh, yeah, um, I, I helped uh, soak all the springs with uh, penetrating oil just to keep them nice and lubricated. That does go a long way. Um, I helped uh, with other various tasks that too many to mention. Um, I helped sort of keep the cab clean, swept all the coal next to the tender. Um, yeah, basically, it's, um, I got, I have several videos. And let me tell you, do not stand next to a blowdown valve. I wasn't, I was not too close, but when you do a blowdown, which basically you're getting rid of the crud in the boiler, in the bottom of the boiler, it makes everything wet. Yes. Um. um sorry about that. Um. Yeah, basically. Yeah. And what they did was they set the safety valves that is required on any steam locomotive or any boiler, matter of fact. What the safety valves do, much like my model steam engines, they prevent overpressurization of the boiler. Um, I think the, the 28 has two or, th wait, three or four safety valves. One was set at 190, which is the maximum operating pressure. 191, 193, and 195, I believe. Um, yeah, so. And when they go off, they go off and they're loud as heck. Yeah. Uh, so I watched them for a good couple minutes. I spent a good. Um, I got there at 11, uh, I think about 9, and I stayed till about 2 or 3. There. Oh. I think I spent a total of 5 hours there that day, just helping out with various tasks. Um, yeah, I helped uh, uh, get fill the tender. Believe it or not, that tender holds 8,000 gallons and also 12 tons of coal. Yeah, I'll I will put a link in the description for the the number twenty eight Wikipedia file. I'll put a link in the description for the North Shore Scenic Railroad for up to twenty eight. I will put in a link in the description for the twenty seven nineteen, which is also the depot which needs about I don't know half a million dollar boiler rebuild. That's what the twenty eight did. It actually had a full. It, like they were originally going to do a cosmetic rest restoration, but they went all out. 
think all total it cost about three quarter million dollars. Yep, new flues in the boiler. Um, basically, they went through every single part of that steam locomotive. They had, they did an ultrasound on the metal, the boiler shell, because if it's too thin, they basically have to replace the whole boiler. Yeah, so that it's it's nice to see a piece of history coming back to life. I think that steam locomotives 111 years ish around right around there. So yeah, um, I do have a video of it coming down the tracks. You'll see a. A number a locomotive behind the tender that's what they were using just in case if they had to pull it back the other way and they all also were using that as dynamic braking which is real nice uh, if I remember right that locomotive has a system where it can it has one traction motor which basically runs the it has like six traction motors one runs off the batteries to move it out of the building instead of having to fire up the big large diesel engine yeah so sorry for my rambly intro but that's what it happens thanks thanks for watching please comment and please comment rate and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye Hey.